Yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Prescott on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And he's got room. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. I can say this from experience, especially from a defensive back's perspective. There's not many things more terrifying than a toss sweep or a pitch play and all that beef out in front of the runner. Yeah, I heard an old coach say three words on those plays, toss or pitch. Set the edge, heard them over and over. A lot of times they roll the edge, and when they do that, that's why you can go for a long way. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Throwing. Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Bailey now for the extra point. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. Bailey now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some room to roll now. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And the offense lining up first and ten. He'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Stephen Paya 
With a great push up front, he picks up the sack and a loss of eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. The Redskins on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and eight. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Shotgun. He'll look to throw. Looking long for his. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll drop the throw. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of six there on first. Second down now after the pass completion. slinging it and then there's one you got to put a timer on huh I mean that one came in hot that came in hot but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete the Redskins on third down they've converted four times out of six not bad this is third and four hurry up here we go Boom. Ah! he'll look to throw Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on the ground with Elliott. 
And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line and now it looks like we've got a cowboy shaken up down there on the field we'll check on his status when we get back The Cowboys on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Now an Eastern Michigan man, Darius Jackson on the carry. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Now after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And he gets it away, and it's a laser headed for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let it spiral into more. <laughs> 